In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what are you doing with God's body. Now, it may seem like we're in control of everything, what we think, what we say, but ultimately, God created our bodies. He also created our souls. So my question for you is, what are you doing with God's hands? What are you doing with God's mouth? What are you saying with God's mouth? What are you thinking with God's mind? What are you listening to with God's ears? Where are you going with God's feet? So, this is also another way to battle temptation. Whenever you fall into temptation, you could always just remember this and just say that our body belongs to God, it's not ours. And we're only just borrowing it because once we die, we die. That's it. And then after that, it's either heaven or hell. So yeah. And it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 through 20, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. And in this Bible verse, it says that you were bought at a price. So, what does that mean? Well, Jesus came down to earth and sacrificed himself and he was perfect he was sinless and he sacrificed himself so then we are able to have everlasting life with him it's just up to you if you accept it or not so yeah and another thing is that when it, it says whom you have received from god and that means that when we're born we're not born with the holy spirit we're only born with the holy spirit when we're born again and when you're born again it's not like physically when you're like come out of your mama's womb it's like spiritually born again when you receive christ as your lord and savior that's being born again because your path you're passing from death to life hell to heaven and when you're born you're born with the human sin nature and that's why when you're young you're always like oh yeah charlie took that from me oh when he didn't or whatever like that just something like that so we're born with the human nature but we can't use that as an excuse when we're going to fall into temptation. And also, when we receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you get in the Holy Spirit, as it says. And the Holy Spirit will help you fight those temptations. And another thing is, is that God owns our souls. God created our souls and he gave us our souls. And it's our choice if we want to go to heaven or hell. So yeah, so when you see people on the internet saying they sold their soul for the devil, they can't do that. And at the end, they never receive what they're looking for because they can't sell their soul. Your soul belongs to God and you can't sell it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing if you want because it continues to give me the drive to keep on creating these videos and it also takes some time creating these videos. Thank you very much for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye.